Any update on Crawford Spence? No, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that that in talking to Heyman, we can get that fight done. The only fight that makes sense anybody's going to make any money with. So I'm pretty sure we could get that fight done. But again, again, let me t- just tell you from the promoter standpoint, for the people who have to raise the money and do the fight, that fight can't happen. And other big fights can't happen <laughs> until the pandemic is gone. and We can bring spectators in pay-per-view, restaurants and bars for closed circuit, all those revenue streams working, and then you can really talk seriously about doing a major fight like that. Okay. Have you spoken to Al? I I don't want to get involved in that. I don't want to... That doesn't help anybody. (laughs) <laughs> I can't answer. Okay. No comment. No comment. Okay. So let's so let's just fast forward. So, so let's speak. Let's talk about some of his fighters. How's the how's the uh, the mediation between Wilder Fury three? You know, it's it's it, it, There is no mediation. I mean, there there has been there over Christmas and New Year. There was mediation. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the mediator will be able to solve the situation. But, you know, uh, we got a real problem because uh, Tyson Fury has said to me and to the mediator that not today, not tomorrow, and not ever would he ever fight Wilder after what Wilder said to him. He regards it as a slur not only against him, but against the gypsy nation. And when was this and, conversation? And, and, what, what, when was this conversation? Gypsy, yeah. When was the conversation? Yeah. It was, he talked with, uh, with Weinstein a couple of weeks ago and with me um, over the, I guess, over the weekend. Okay. I mean, within a day or so. Yeah, I mean, a few days, you know. So, so is he willing to release the belt? The WBC belt? Why would he have to release the belt? I'm, I'm just, oh, because of the, I'm just saying if the mediation goes in favor of Wilder, in, in your opinion, do you think? Do you then, think he has to, then he has to decide whether he wants to defy any kind of order. Mm. I mean, you know, I, I don't want to get into legality. The idea of anybody stopping uh, the Fury uh, Joshua fight just can't happen. And the belts aren't, I mean, the WBC belt isn't an issue. Okay, gotcha. So so you're more leaning towards 100% that Fury Joshua takes place in May. You got a busy May. Well, it could be in June. But... Okay. Uh, yeah, oh, so you I got mean, it. y'all. Yeah. Oh, hold up, Bob. Y'all got a date already. Then y'all got a date, a venue, because you told you just said no, no, it's in June. So you got a date and a venue already and a location. Yeah. No, we, we we have a location. That's true. Do you we mind have a location? Is... I'm not going to go in. Come on, Bob. We have a lo- we, we, no, no, no. we have a location. What continent is uh, it on? We have a location, and. Uh, we have to, as far as the date is concerned, we haven't zeroed in on the date, but it could be as late as June because it would give more time to solve the uh, coronavirus problem. Gotcha. You know, by June, most people will be vaccinated. You can have a quick test now. So it, it's possible, I'm pretty sure. And, and then, uh, we'd, uh, you know, do the fight at a pay-per-view in the UK and, uh, pay-per-view, uh, you know, early evening, uh, uh, in, 
in uh, the United States. Mm. I I got a question. Have have you 